What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> I just, I just woke up. Well, I ain't really just woke up, but I was laying down. And I decided to make a video because I was listening to um this dude on Instagram by the name of Immortal Zen, and um I decided to make a video based off what he was talking about, and I had some thoughts that I wanted to share. You know, while I'm out here, I'm about to show y'all my little garden that pretty much died because it got cold um but it started to heat back up for some reason i don't know um as far as i can think like i told y'all is the planet is heating up so if the planet is heating up uh as you can see it's warm it's warmer um around this time you would think that it would be extremely cold throughout the whole november <clears throat> but it seems to be going back and forth hot cold hot cold 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 hot you see what i'm saying so yeah this my um tomato garden that i was um working on before it got cold so i just stopped watering it but it seems to be getting back warm so i might you know rejuvenate it or whatnot these are my dying um bell peppers i got the rest in the house you know I cut I cut the um last of the bell pepper so all of that is pretty much refreshed. I'm in the process of um trying to decide if I want to um <clears throat> if I want to get me this <clears throat> shed from my uh, Harbor Freight. <clears throat> Um, but trying to kind of indecisive because I'm trying to save money or what now, but I'm starting to let that crap go. Stop worrying about, you know, prices and all of that. And that's pretty much, um, related to what I want to talk about, you know, letting this stuff go. Um, but also I was listening to Immortals and, and, um, he was talking about, um, um, a ocean being inside of another ocean and that made me think of um avatar <laughs> avatar 2 the way of the water you know a lot of things are being revealed um somebody somebody in the comment section has said something about that movie i think power somebody mentioned power rangers oh excuse me somebody mentioned meg 2 i might i might pop in meg 2 today I might end up watching Meg too. I, I didn't really like the first one, but I might watch the second one just to see um, the correlation to water. You know, them talking about water and stuff like that. But somebody had said something about the Most High made it to where we don't see certain things. AKA, I'm guessing like dinosaurs and I guess other giant human beings and stuff like that. You know, giants and stuff like that. And I'm like, I think I had commented back. I had said, I think I made two comments. I said something about maybe, I feel like people who say stuff like that are the ones who are scared of seeing things like that themselves. Because I'm, I'm in my head, like, why would the Most High make it to where we don't see things like that? Like, why wouldn't the Most High, why would the Most High create such a, a creation and then make it not make it to where we aren't able to see the creation like example a, a big old dinosaur or something like that that's 30 feet tall you know it doesn't have to harm us you know the move of course the movies in hollywood they make it where they're horrific creatures and stuff like that they do all the damage and stuff like that but um so far in this lifetime that hasn't happened um the most horrific creatures that we've come in contact with is basically um these um elite beings using their minions you know putting them under um mind control and stuff like that having us fight each other we're the ones who are more horrific toward each other than these creatures in the movies we haven't seen no dinosaurs in real life that's crushing buildings and stuff like that but we do see um, the mechanical versions of them, aka um, tractors and stuff like that, wrecking these buildings, knocking them over and stuff like that. Those are like basically the mechanical um, 
um dinosaurs that the spirit has passed into i would say you know because as far as you know my mind goes um the dinosaurs that they showed us in the movies have been um they say they killed them all now i'm thinking like i got so many thoughts in my head you know basically playing devil's advocate so y'all gotta bear with me um because i you know i listen to different people's per perspective and stuff like that and i want to share my own so basically, um, I know OG, he was saying that the government pretty much protects us, in other words. He didn't say it, but he's saying that um we don't we don't wanna see those creatures and stuff like that. You don't wanna see those big giant creatures and stuff like that. So I'm like, if that's the case then um is the government protecting us for, from seeing such creatures? Is the government protecting us from being destroyed by such creatures? If so, then should we favor the government or should we be against the government? Which is it going to be? You see what I'm saying? So I'm kind of confused right now. You know, is the government helping us or harming us? You know, they, they got they got, they got got um military setup points and stuff like that. So we won't go to these ice walls and stuff like that, which are um what I'm guessing are other gateways and portals to other access points to other parts of the of the land that we own you see what i'm saying uh otherwise why would they have them up you see what i'm saying so are they there to study them themselves or protect us from the, these said creatures or what you see what i'm saying like I, I don't get it so so many thoughts go go through my head <clears throat> um definitely if those creatures were inside these ice walls we would not be able to worry about bills and stuff like that because one will be eaten up um we'll be getting ate up and we'll be being destroyed and you know just like the movies pretty much um i wouldn't even be here making this video because a uh, dinosaur probably would have tore out the roof of the, of the van and i would have been eating in you know mid video so yeah, I'm trying to figure out are they protecting us or harming us. Also, um, Immortal Zen, you know, the dude I was listening to, he he was talking about something dealing with flat earth and stuff like that. Somebody coming and saying, why are you still talking about flat earth? And I was thinking about, because um, it was a dude in Alaska, he was looking at the sun and the moon, I think at the same time, or... He was looking at more so um the darkness on one side and the light on the other side, aka he was looking at nighttime and daytime at the same time in Alaska. In a um he was in a boat in a river, I think, or whatever you want to call it. He was in a source of water. And I was telling people in the comment session, based on what I just learned from Brother Sanchez, he was basically saying, because you know a lot of people say we worship the sun and stuff like that. So-called black people, they worship the sun, but uh, Brother Sanchez put in my mind that it's not the sun that we should be worshiping. I, you know, in other words, he was saying that it's really the North Pole because without the North Pole, aka the source, I'm guessing, you know, it's in the middle. The the North Pole is what stirs the sun and the moon. You know, a lot of people say the moon is fake and stuff like that, but for the sake of this conversation, the the North Pole stirs the moon and the, and the sun. 24 7 and that's where the sun the so-called sun that we feel good gets its energy from because without that north pole that middle center you see what i'm saying like a tent without that center everything falls apart you see what i'm saying so brother sanchez was basically implying that we should not be or or I guess wondering why we worship this so-called sun, you know, even though it feel good, because I feel good right now that the sun is out. It's not like it's not like I'm saying like I feel good that the North Pole is out right now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't know. All I know is what Brother Sanchez said makes more sense than just worshiping this so-called sun or being more appreciative appreciative of the so-called sun that's up there that you see right now. <clears throat> But he was saying, you know, that the North Pole is what provides the stir to stir the sun and the moon in the moon. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So um, 
without that center point, just like an umbrella, it would not be able to the um the outer rings of, of the umbrella would not be able to withstand without the center. So basically, you know, the North Pole stirs everything, everything will fall apart. Um also, um, Brother Sanchez, he mentioned something about like a candy wrapper. You see what I'm saying? It's like we we're being constantly wrapped up like a mummy during the mummification process. You see what I'm saying? The mummy is wrapped up in the wrapping. You see what I'm saying? To preserve the body, and that's pretty much what the moon and the sun is doing. They rotate up and down, 24/7, and they're constantly wrapping us. <clears throat> but I'm wondering, like. What is all of this like on a spiritual level? Because this is just what my eyeballs can see. So I always wonder what does it look like on the outside of my body? I guess I have to die to see. Um so that process is waiting. Um <laughs> so yeah, I found that interesting. It's a constant rapping. You know, like a piece of candy. You have to untwist it. Untwist it and then you'll have us in the middle of the wrapping. The mummification process. Hell, our body is, is a mummification process. Being wrapped up in this flesh. The flesh is, is the wrapping and then before we can get out of the mummification process, we have to so-called die or divide from the flesh. And I guess it starts over. I don't know. But that's pretty much all I got that I want to talk about. My, you know, buying this, this little um portable canvas tarp. Um shed to put my belongings in and that's what i'm gonna pretty much be doing today deciding if i'm gonna buy it today you know other than that probably just play the game and prepare for work and yeah that's pretty much it you know and of course, I'm always hoping that this system collapses, <laughs> even though it'll be a lot of chaos, but I'd rather the chaos than to be dealing with going to work all the time. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, that's all I got. Appreciate y'all for listening. Stick with me, those who do stick with me, to hear me blabber and, and, you know, share my thoughts and stuff like that. So, very appreciative. And as always, I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.